Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So for today, we are going to be showing you guys a throwback of a mukbang that Ken and I did eating Taco Bell. So we hope you guys enjoy that. Taco Bell is like one of our favorite places to go when we're hungry. We ordered a bunch of good food, so be sure to grab like a snack or your lunch or breakfast or whatever when you watch this. That way you don't get hungry while you watch us eat. But other than that, we hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and give the video a thumbs up and let us know down in the comment section below what mukbang you guys want us to do next. And let's just roll on with the clip. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a Taco Bell mukbang! <laughs> a Taco Bell. Did I say Taco Bell? Yes. Okay. So we're doing a Taco Bell Taco Bell mukbang. We got all our food laid out here. We actually had a budget this time. Last time we kind of just went wild because it was our first one and we were just like, uh, what should we get and this and that. So this time we had a plan. Um, we actually kept it under $25, mm -hmm. which we were going to read off what we got. Mm -hmm. So what we got in front of us today are two chicken chalupa craving boxes. They're the same. So it includes a chalupa, a chicken chalupa, five layer burrito, crunchy taco, cinnamon twist, and then a drink, which babe got pink lemonade and then I got root beer. And then the next thing that we got in the center is nacho fries, which is basically seasoned fries with nacho cheese dip. We'll see how that is. I don't know if it's gonna be good because it seems pretty basic, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have two Cool Ranch um, Doritos Locos Tacos, which I'm excited for because everyone raves about the Doritos Locos Tacos, like all of them. Yeah. So this is going to be a treat for me. <laughs> and then we have two extra five layer burritos. So um, let's actually jump into it. That, that was like a laundry list of food. Yeah. I don't even know if we're going to finish all of it, but um, we're going to give you guys our rating and our opinions mm -hmm. and talk about Taco Bell because Taco Bell, I think when I was a broke college student, it was like my go-to. It was either this or McDonald's. It was mm -hmm. like literally like a part of my life at this point. <laughs> it's like I got, I probably have some veins in my in my body that have Taco Bell remnants in it. So we're gonna jump into it. Let's start with our three layer burrito. Okay. <laughs> um, let's, let's, I'm gonna move everything aside. I'm actually get. oh, that sounded like a, that sounded like a, uh, a hen. Sorry. So I'm actually gonna drink some of this pink lemonade. Yeah, let's cleanse our palate. Um, if you hear me coughing randomly, I'm I'm literally sick right now, so yeah. I'm so sorry. But I'm gonna try my best. We're gonna try our best to go through this. You're a trooper. I I, I sure hope I am. <laughs> so let's start with our burrito. Okay, let me take a swish of this. Oh. Slurp slurp. Oh. Oh. What was that? Root beer. Root beer. I only liked root beer growing up with root beer floats. That's it. But drinking it now, actually, I'm starting to like it. So yeah. I'm gonna bring the table a little bit closer to us because I want. I don't want us to spill. You know. Oh, by the way, I know a lot of people eat Taco Bell with their hot sauce, but we're both sick right now, and I'm recovering, so yeah. I can't have spicy food, which is why we don't have hot sauce. I'm kind of sad about that, to be <laughs> honest. All right, so the first thing we're actually going to try is the nacho fries. Mm -hmm. Is that the name? I don't know. I, yes. I I'm not the I'm not the host this time. <laughs> so, what do you think? This is like the smallest serving of fries ever. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else to say. I mean, me either. It reminds me of oh, it comes with nacho cheese in a little what container? Mhm. Mm it reminds me of Kim Possible. Kim Possible? You know the taco shop that they always talk about? Oh my gosh, I don't remember I've Kim Possible enough. Oh really? Yeah. So in the show, there's like a 
the taco shop that they always go to and they, mm. they have this I don't even know what it's called but it looks so good and the closest thing that I can think of that's close to that thing that's in the in the show is Taco Bell like it's oh yeah the similar as far as like they're like serve the same things mm -hmm. anyway that has nothing to do with this let's <laughs> actually try this out okay you want to dip it first or just eat it the way it is so let's eat it with the the sauce or not the sauce the seasoning okay and then we'll try it with the nacho cheese so okay. dip. cheers <laughs> it's already cold. It's already cold and dry. <laughs> it's really that cold in, in uh, California right now, so everything really is though. probably really, really cold right now. <laughs> what do you think? I don't really taste much, much of the seasoning. Yeah. It's just soggy fries. It's just soggy fries. Wanna well, dip it in the nacho cheese now? Yeah. Man, you're just going at I'm, it. I'm real. I'm really hungry. I'm gonna show. <laughs> I'm like, really hungry for this. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Oh, it's kind of spicy. Is it? I, mean, I have to go first. Oh, I do taste it. Oh, there's a kick. There's a tiny kick. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm. I think I like it with the nacho cheese. That made it better. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of going to like the movies, mm -hmm. and you would get French or sometimes they serve French fries, and then you get the nacho cheese, and he's. That's pretty good, actually. I really like this. So rating scale up to five. What would you rate this? among everything that you tried at Taco Bell. Uh, I know it's a hard scale, but you gotta give it out of five. I would give it an average three out of five stars. Three out of five, wow. Yeah. That's pretty high. Um, I think it would be better if it was warm, but if it was warm, I think I would give it a 2.5. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not, not really a big fan of it. Um, this is like a limited time offer so yeah. they probably just was trying something new and then if it gets a lot of hype then obviously I feel like they're gonna just push it as an actual menu item because mm -hmm. I feel like that's what people do when it's limited it's just like try it people love it the sales are up they're gonna put on the menu yeah. so 2.5 I think it's like a, a trier a trier item mm -hmm. in all honesty it's just french fries with nacho cheese <laughs> so not anything wow to me right so that's all I gotta give it, a 2.5. Next up, we got the three layer burrito. Mm -hmm. So usually in a three layer burrito, there is bean and cheese. Yes. It actually says right here, it has lettuce, sour cream, tomato, onion, cheese, and whatever other is. <laughs> well, that's, that's a five layer. This is a three layer, right? Oh, no, it's a five layer bean burrito. What? Five layer burrito. Right here. Oh, so we got a five. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a five layer burrito, and say it again. What what is in a five layer bean burrito? Has lettuce, sour cream, tomato, onion, Ooh. cheese, and I guess the beans is the other. <laughs> they're like they're like you know what? All that copyright that we have to throw onto this packaging. Let's avoid all that. Let's just get other, because then other is like you can't copyright that. Right. So let's burrito toast to this okay wait this is weird so i've noticed that you keep the wrapper on yeah and i never keep the wrapper on <laughs> i consume these so fast he does. that i accidentally if i left the wrapper on it would be gone with the burrito Ew. so this is off and we're gonna we have to we have to get a couple bites into it because this okay. looks like it's it looks like this is tortilla 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 <laughs> and then like actual goodness yeah so let's <laughs> toast mm. i got all tortilla all tortilla <laughs> i did it i got some filling it's pretty good still tortilla let me take two mmm Mmm. Yes. There we go. Mm. <laughs> I don't see any of that. <laughs> I don't see any of what you just said. <clears throat> oh, maybe that's just... Honestly, I don't know. Man, we just got Jolly Bead. Like, literally, the last time that we went somewhere, there's an advertised amount of items. And we didn't get that. 
Hold so. on. I feel like the wrapping is just a generic, it just has a generic list of stuff. And that's not technically what's in the item. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. Am I weird for opening this up? Kind of. Cheese, sour cream, and... Beef. Beans and beef. That's basically. it. Basically. There's no... There's no... I feel vegetables. like it would be weird if it had like vegetables. Vegetables. I feel yeah. like the five layer burrito, you know, and kind of taking it back in the days, mm -hmm. I used to eat these five layer. Like, I remember going with my sister. We would go to Taco Bell just to buy these. Like, we we would be anywhere. We would be places, mm -hmm. and we would go all the way to Taco Bell just to get this five layer burrito. It was just so good. Price is right. And I'm gonna give it the rating right now. I'm gonna okay. say it's a 4.5. That's a high. That's a high. That's like almost on the same score level as Jollibee. Wow. Yeah, 4.5. So this is what you would get. Like you wouldn't get anything else on the menu. I wouldn't. Wow. Yeah. So this is your this is my go -to. most favorite item on the menu. This is my go-to. I don't care about. I mean, Chalupa. Okay, cool. Nani? And then all these other stuff on the menu. Okay, cool. Nani? Cool ranch. But I always will go back to the five layer burrito. It's just, it just, it's just in my veins. Like I said earlier, it's like in my bloodline. Now, now it is. It, it wasn't before. Obviously, Taco Bell changed lives. I feel like it. <laughs> okay. I feel like it changed lives. You take that first bite and you're in. You're in the cloud. The wow. Taco Bell clout. Wow. Clout gate. It's that high. Yeah. So 4.5. Okay. It's basic to me, so I give it a 3. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is hey. not my most favorite thing. It's good, don't get me wrong. But it's not my most favorite thing on the menu. It's pretty good, though. You just gotta give it, a, you know, a couple tries. <laughs> Alright, so now we have the Cool Ranch. Locos Tacos. Doritos Locos Tacos. Is this, is that it? It's just, it's this cheese, lettuce, and then the beef at the very bottom. It's in a weird, is this, it's like, it's in a really interesting um, packaging. It's in a taco holder. I've never seen this in my life. This is like, so I'm telling you, Taco Bell innovative. Mm -hmm. You just don't know it. Mm -hmm. So, I, I see the, I see the, um, I see the seasoning on the outside of the shell. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna take this now and a little bit later after after, after oh hours. Oh my gosh! So brace for impact. Let's wait. Go. First question though. I mean, quick question. Yes. Have you ever had Cool Ranch Doritos? I've had all the different types of Cool or <laughs> <no>. <laughs> I've had all the different types of Doritos. Mm -hmm. um, I just haven't had them recently. Okay. So it's you forgot been, what it tastes like. I forgot what it tastes like, so that's why I'm saying embrace for impact <laughs> because I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I'm not, or I'm not gonna like it. So okay. we'll see. Let's 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 taco toast. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. I tasted it right away. That was really good. Oh wow. I like that. Wow. Did not expect that at all. I really like that. I need another. I need another go. I need to have it without all the extra ingredients. So I'm gonna get the top. Oh, just the shell. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. I want to try the other flavors next time. Yeah. That's not that bad. In all honesty, it gives the it gives the regular Taco Bell taco. The hard shell ones, mm -hmm. like a little kick to it. So it's not like oh, an yeah. average, like a an average taco. He gives it that I'm a better than average taco. Mm -hmm. Like you go on Tinder and you find this taco. You got people <laughs> swiping right, left, and right on this taco. More lefts than right. But anyways, in any other way I can put this, this taco, in my opinion, serves as a three. Three out of fives. Minimum range. Three out of five. Everything so far for me has been three out of five. You're very neutral on these things. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta spice it up. I know, but that's naturally how I feel about it. Like I, I love Taco Bell because it has so much variety. 
and they're so innovative with their flavors and like what they put out on their menu. That's why it, like it's a good place to go to when you're hungry. I don't know if Taco Bell is the healthiest choice, but it's the best choice. Actually, I heard that Taco Bell is a little healthier than any other option out there in terms of fast food. Wow. Yeah. I did not know that. Well, I guess I'm going to eat at Taco Bell every single day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we're getting into our Chalupa boxes. This, I believe, is $5 a box, mm -hmm. of course, plus tax. Um, $5 USD, so mm -hmm. US dollars. So I don't know where you guys are coming from, but $5. We open it up. We got a couple things. We got some churros. We got a chalupa. We got a regular hard shell taco. And then we got another five layer burrito mm -hmm. in the back. We already tried the five layer burrito. Mm -hmm. I think the only two that, or I guess, yeah, the only two that we should really try at this point is the chalupa and the churros. Okay. Yeah, the so churro twist to be exact. Cinnamon twist. Oh, it fell over. So what do you want to start with first? It's called cinnamon twist. Oh, it's called cinnamon twist? <laughs> I don't know anything. Honestly, <coughs> sorry. Honestly, I really don't know much. I just eat the food. Like, That's I, okay. I, I mean, sometimes she probably will order for me because she already knows what I want. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I don't know what I want. So that's why you got to have that companionship in your life. But look at that. I'll put a ring on it. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so. Let's go for the chalupa. Let's the save yeah. the cinnamon twist for last since it's kind of like dessert. Dessert, yeah. Yeah. I don't know which one's the chalupa. I guess in this one. Yeah. All right. All right. For all those that don't know what a chalupa is, what is a chalupa in your opinion? Gosh. I always, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, always get, I always get pita bread and naan bread mixed up. I don't know... What type of bread this is. What, yeah, what type of bread it is, but that's what I would compare it to. I guess it would be pita bread is the shell, so it's soft. And then inside, you have a choice of beef or chicken or I don't... I think there's a third option. Steak. Steak? I think it's steak, yeah. Yeah. And then you have just your standard vegetables in taco, lettuce, tomatoes, and then you got the cheese and sour cream. So that's pretty, basically it. Yeah. All right. So here's what it looks like. Mmm. 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 Yep. That's a chalupa. Looks like you're about to fall asleep and have a good dream about this chalupa. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I know y'all you, <laughs> think this is weird, but this is the best way to eat a taco. I don't care what people say. Getting it, holding it like this and then going like that. Kim Possible style. Like what? Like how? Do it again? Kim Possible style. Like how though? Oh. <laughs> You okay? Okay, while he lather, rinses, and repeats, I'm going to give my opinion on okay. the chalupa. This is actually my most favorite item on the menu. I love the chalupa. They also recently came out with the naked chalupa. What? Which, <laughs> the, the shell is chicken. Like, entirely chicken entirely chicken i don't know if they still have it it might have been limited time offer type of thing mm -hmm. but i had it one time and it was so good i wish they would add it to their option for the chalupa box because i would get it i would get that too yeah so i would give this a five out of five every time when my brother and i were little too we would go to taco bell also like late at night after dance practice we would either go to Jack in the Box or Taco Bell, and all we would order are the chalupas. I would get three. Wow. Yeah. Wow, three? Yeah. <laughs> I could only, at most, five. So. Well, that's a lot. I mean, hey, if it's just chalupa, me and chalupa are like lupa and chula. Huh. Chalupa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's what it, you know, I switched it around, you know. Okay. Give you that little uh, cinnamon twist. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. oh, 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 oh. My opinion of the chalupa, um, it's not a five layer burrito. So that's a little bias on my side of things, but it is good. It is soft and chewy and it gives you that like little feel to mm. it. So I would say 
three point five. Okay. I Fair can't, enough. I can't. I can't. See the five letter burrito up here. Chalupa is like right there. Everything else a little bit in between the the scale. So okay. I gotta give it a three point five, and that's that's it. I can't. I can't back it up. That's all I'm gonna back it up into. So um, that is that. Okay. Fair enough. The last thing that we're going to try out is the cinnamon twists, mm -hmm. right? I got it right this time. Yes. These are not churro twists. No. Okay. <laughs> so I am not a big fan of desserts, but I do try them occasionally. And especially the last time, the last muk, 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 muk bang, muk bang, muk ba 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 bang, I had the peach mango pie mm -hmm. and that knocked me out if you watch oh. till the end of the video i was done like i, w I had a pill you know what i don't know if anyone else does this but like when you're like really full like you pull your pants over your stomach you put a pillow on top of your stomach oh. and then you just knock out really so, you pull your pants up i would unbutton my pants i don't know i feel like it's only you know there's a select amount of people out there that do that Mm -hmm. And you are awesome if you do. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to give it a twist in her mouth. Nope. Nope. Mm. Oh, uh -oh. dang. Uh-oh. Uh, all right. Let me give you What's the real. the verdict? Let me give you that real. So... Not a big fan of cinnamon. Okay. Well, so, okay. A lot of cinnamon. I like, I, I like, I like cinnamon. Mm -hmm. What were you going to say? I was going to say that would have been nice to know off the bat. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> well you got to, you got to let them know after the fact, okay. after the fact that I did it. Um, <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of sweets, as I said earlier, and I, there was a big disclaimer as I started this, but I feel like there's so much sugar. Okay, and cinnamon yeah. is like overwhelming to me and like hey some people love sugar and you know shout out to you guys and shout out to you but i'm not i'm more on the like i need the i need the like protein i need all those different textures mm -hmm. i can't i can't be messing with the sugars too much carbos can't do that much but honestly for what it is I'll give it a two. And okay. that's being that's being very, very generous. Wow. Okay. I don't know. Peach mango pie. Still <laughs> team player. Okay. Not too sweet. Not too sour. What? Oh, wait. Is it? <laughs> okay. All right. Your opinion. Okay. Well, I grew up eating these two. So, and I love sweets. I love cinnamon. I love horchata. I love churros. Horchata. I love stuff like this. Like anything with cinnamon, I'm all over. Even like big red, um, the the gum. What? The gum. The oh. big red. I think it's called big red or big. It's like cinnamon gum. Yeah, cinnamon, cinnamon gum. gum. That's. I'm all over that stuff. I was not over that. Like <laughs> I remember there was like this. I think it was like my fourth or fifth grade teacher. She mm -hmm. gave everyone a pack of gum. Oh yeah. So she gave me. She gave. She, okay, first of all, she made the biggest mistake. She gave me the big or whatever that's called. I don't know. Yeah, what it's I called. think it's called big red. Maybe it's big red. I don't mm -hmm. know. We'll put it. We'll put it on the screen so you guys can see it. Mm -hmm. So she gave me that individually, by choice. Like she gave it to me by choice. She could have gave me like juicy fruit. She could have gave me uh, that one where it goes like you wrap it around. I don't know what's oh, called bubble tape. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. She could have gave me that, but she gave me that big red. Like that big red turned into a big L for my <laughs> teacher. Like if I were to give her a grade, it would be an L, a big fat L. Oh my gosh. <laughs> because I, I, I tried it. I was like, uh, -uh and I spat it out. Oh my god. And I was like. Could I get another piece, like another gum? And then she's like, "Oh no, you gotta share with your co your, your coworkers. <laughs> you gotta share with your classmates." And I was like, I was going to everyone. I was going legit to everyone. It was like a whole experience. I was like, "You want to trade gum? You want to try this gum? Come on, we gotta we gotta work things out. We gotta be tradesmen and women. No one wanted to trade with me, cause no one wanted it. 
Dang. So was that the first time that you realized that you hated cinnamon or what? No. Okay. Uh, no. Did you know that ahead of time? I I loved sweets when I, when I was a kid. Like okay. I would eat candy like crazy, like gummy worm or like gummy sharks. Have you ever had gar- uh, gummy sharks? No. All right, I'm gonna get you some gummy sharks and we'll do a mukbang <laughs> of gummy sharks if we need to. So that to conclude to conclude this entire story. Cinnamon has not been the best spice in my life, mm-hmm. just because of that big red experience. On top of that, I went to either Disneyland or somewhere else that sells churros, mm-hmm. and I threw it up. So that's another reason why I have like slight phobia of cinnamon or eating too much cinnamon. So that's why this is what is going down right now. Oh my so, gosh. I know I'm being a little OA, if you guys don't know what that is, overreacting or overacting. Mm-hmm. But that's just, you know, I'm being real. I'm real. I'm, I'm real about it. And honestly, Taco Bell, I'm only going to give you... I'm not, I didn't give you any of these ones. I, I want you guys to understand that. Yep. And because I love... I genuinely, I, uh, I genuinely love Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. Like, if I can eat something for the rest of my life, it would not be Taco Bell. Uh- but... If I were to go somewhere to eat for lunch, and I only had, like, all the money in the world, I would go to Taco Bell. So, okay, that is my stance on that. Okay. Now, your stance. Well, like I said, I love, I love these. I grew up with these, so, and it's, like, a nice way to end your meal. It's, it's a good, like flavor change I guess because everything else is like savory and salty and then you have the cinnamon twist which is like nice and airy and crunchy and it's not heavy but there's a lot of it so yeah it's just a nice way to end your meal so I like these I gave them a four out of five. Oh my gosh he's grabbing the pillow all right Uh oh what's going on all right, so we've tried everything, and I enjoyed this mukbang mm-hmm. very much, and I'm about to muk to sleep. I don't, I, I couldn't figure out a good phrase for that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. This time, I'm not falling asleep and almost falling into a deep food coma <laughs> as last time. But if you guys love Taco Bell as much as we love Taco Bell, and we genuinely want to eat it every other day but we can't because wait and make sure to let us know what's your favorite thing on the menu Mm -hmm. taco bell taco bell (laughs) i was gonna say some other some other restaurant for some reason like we ate something else (laughs) but let us know what your favorite item on the menu is and if you have not done so and you love videos of us particularly us eating or vlogging or talking or dislike our personalities because they're great make sure to uh, subscribe and do you have anything you want to say no I enjoyed it and I'm glad that we did this so uh, stay on the lookout for our next mukbang video we don't know what it is next or so next time let's try Chinese food okay. specifically fried rice salt and pepper chicken wings and our Grand favorite, Chow Men. Maybe. Yes. We'll let you guys, we'll surprise you guys. Mm-hmm. But thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.